Alright, so one day, the Battlefront dev team wanted to make a new blaster. They added cool sound, great accuracy, zero bullet spread to create the perfect blaster, the T-21. But then, as usual, they messed it up. They uh, put more damage than they should have. 195? Are you kidding me? No way. Oh man, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> hey guys, it's Potatoes, and today we're going to be going over what is the best blaster in Battlefront 2. And we're going to divide this video up in three parts. First part is why it's the best. Take a look here at all the stuff I put up on the screen. Uh, it does 65 damage per shot, which is equal to a... 195 DPS, which is damage per second. Um, and then its last modification that you can add onto it is a burst mode. So damage per burst, which is three shots in one burst, ups it from 65 damage per shot to 195 damage per burst, which is able to one tap most infantry except for heavy, unless if you land a headshot. Um, and then ups the DPS, the damage per second, with the burst up to 214.5 damage it's insane now if we go over here i'm gonna pull up the headshot damage which it has a 1.9 x standard multiplier for all the guns in battlefront 2 um if you were to hit one shot to the head it would be 123.5 damage that's almost enough to one tap everybody every infantry and then if you were to land all three shots of the burst on the head it would be 370 damage which is crazy to think about because half like Item Versio, I believe she has 650 health. If you were to land one full burst on her head, half of her health is gone. And this cooling on this gun is really good as well. This gun was good by itself, and for some reason they decided to put a burst modification that comes with it. I don't know why, but they did, and it's insane now. Although this weapon has very good damage, and very little damage drop off at range, Damage is not all. We also have to take into consideration the accuracy of the weapon. So what I did to compare is I took the DC-15LE and the FWMB-10K, the other heavy weapons in the same medium to long range class, and I compared their accuracy to the T-21. And one thing that I noticed was that they don't compare to the T-21. If you look at the, uh, the screenshot on the back, the T21, his accuracy is superior compared to those two weapons. So what I decided to do was not compare the guns within the same class, but compare the T21 against other weapons who had high damage at that range, around 30 to 40 me in-game meters. Now keep in mind, the burst mode for the T21 gives out around 214.5 DPS. And the only other guns that compete at that 30 to 40 meter range are the SC-44C with the fire rate mod attached, the Blurg 1120 with the improved burst, and the sniper rifle A280 CFE with the burst modification. Um, I compared them all accuracy wise, and what I noticed was that the T21 is more accurate, if not as accurate, or more accurate than the A280 CFE, which is a sniper. Which is crazy to think about that it outclasses, that it can outclass a sniper in its own range. Now you're probably wondering, wow potatoes, this gun is really good. What's the catch? And there really is none. It's a great all around weapon, especially for medium to long range. So now I'll tell you how to unlock it. I was able to do it from start to finish within around 50 minutes. Uh, I was able to unlock the blaster and the two modifications that I would recommend you use, including the burst mode. How I did it was simple. <laughs> the requirements to unlock the gun in the first place is to get 50 kills in co-op as a heavy class. But from there, here's the fun part. To unlock the improved handling mod, you need to get 75 kills, not with just the heavy class, but with the T21. And then to unlock the burst mode, you need to get 150 kills with the T21. 
Well, a little trick that not everybody knows is that these don't have to be in multiplayer. So you can just keep playing co-op over and over until you get these things. And you never have to play multiplayer until you unlock the improved handling mod and the burst mode. Which, by the way, is which are the attachments that I would recommend using. The improved handling and the burst mode. There, there's no real reason to use the improved zoom unless if you want to use it as a sniper otherwise i think these two work great all the gameplay you'll see in the background use these two attachments but yeah you can grind the whole thing out and co-op without ever having to touch multiplayer so like i said earlier in the video it took me around 50 minutes from no t21 at all to fully kitted out t21 ready to go in multiplayer um and i mean anybody can do this it might take you a little longer maybe an hour hour 15 but in my opinion if you're new to the game it is completely worth it i would definitely try it out if you want to you can even go into single player you know you can go into instant action and test out the blaster yourself and see if you like it before you decide to grind it out but i would recommend doing it if you're new to the game if you're not new to the game there's no need for you to do this so yeah, if you learned something and you're new to the channel, feel free to follow or subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any other video ideas, like guides like this, let me know because, yeah, they're pretty cool. So yeah, I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys on the next one. Potatoes out.